I am speaking from and for the Women's Committee of the ITF. We, the ITF Women's Committee, are meeting in London today, and this gave us the opportunity to express our solidarity with and admiration for our sisters and brothers in the Middle East and North Africa who have fought for change in the region. In Tunisia and Egypt, women workers, including women transport workers, were instrumental in achieving the amazing changes that took place. Women are active too in the struggles for democratic progress and to build new unions in Bahrain and in ongoing and desperate fight to safeguard the lives in Libya and Yemen, in Algeria, Syria, Saudi Arabia and Jordan, also women are seeking to promote openness and dialogue and we, the ITF Women's Committee, watch, applaud and support your efforts. There is a force for change abroad, across the Arab world, and women are an integral part of this. We believe that at the next meeting of the Arab Women's Committee, we will be joined by representatives from new and free trade unions in Syria, Libya, and Yemen. We look forward to that day. Meanwhile, in West Africa, another regime has fallen today. In Ivory Coast, Lauren Gabo, who was voted out, has been forced to leave office. We hope that civil war has been averted and that the killings and atrocities which have frequently targeted women will now cease and the new government will prosecute those responsible whichever side they came from. So, on behalf of over half a million women transport workers from all over the world, may I once again pass on to you our admiration for what you have done, our hopes for a better future, and a promise of our help in building it together, not just in word, but in practice. Strong unions need women. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever.